Hi, and welcome to the quick guide to getting started with using your Crunch accounting software. When you first get logged in, you will be taken here to your dashboard page. There's more information on this page in our other breakdown guides where we go into detail of the different sections. For now, we're going to jump into the sales page and get started with adding our invoice. Now to add an invoice, we just need to follow the new invoice button. Now from here, we choose the client for whom we're sending the invoice to, or we can add a client if we haven't done that already. Next up, we need to set the currency and the date for the invoice. If you want to add a reference or a purchase order number, you can do that here. But do remember that's not mandatory. We can then start to add in the line items for our invoice. So I'm gonna put a brief description here and then put the amount that we're gonna charge. Now, in this example, you can see that we're registered for VAT. And when we save the amount, the system has added VAT on top of that. Now, if you want the amounts that you enter to include VAT, you can tick this button here before you add the line item. Now, you can add more line items here if you need to. I'm happy with this one for now. And we can also bring in additional options here if you want. So if you want to tick any of these buttons to add in any of these additional features, you can do, but they're not required. We can then save the draft of the invoice. That invoice now shows here as pending. So in order to make it live or to send it to our clients, we need to go to the options button and select to issue the invoice. Now, if you include an email address when you add your client's details, you will also be able to choose to issue and email the invoice. If you just issue the invoice, it won't go out to your clients, but it will go live in your records. So now that we've issued it, the invoice is outstanding. And later on, when you get paid for that invoice, you can go to the options button and then mark the payment by selecting record client payment. So we've looked very quickly at setting up our invoices. The next part of this quick guide today is about our expenses. So to get started with adding expense, we can just follow the new expense button. And it's really nice and straightforward. So first of all, we choose our supplier. Now, if you haven't got any suppliers yet, you can follow the button to add them in. And I'm going to choose my supplier called Travel. I'm then going to enter in the date. If I want to, I can add a reference in here. And if I wish to charge my expense back to one of my clients, I can also choose that client from the list here. So I now need to enter in a description for my expense. And I'm going to enter in the description here. Now you can be brief or you can go into more detail. That's up to you. And we then enter in the gross amount. Now we can add as many line items to this expense as we want. So if you make a purchase with lots of different items on one receipt, you can add them all accordingly. Next up, we just need to mark how the item was paid. So if we pay from the personal money, we can mark it as paid by director personally. I'm gonna choose in this example to show that it was transferred out of my company account. And if I haven't yet added the company account, I can do so from the button here. Now, of course, if you've got multiple payments, you can also include those. And if you wish, you can add a file to upload, say, the receipt or a photo or of, of the documentation with regards to your invoice. And you can finally add notes here if you want as well. And once we're happy, we can save the expense and it's then stored here on our records in the expenses subsection. So the final part of our getting started quick guide today is about paying yourself. Now, once your account is up and running and set up to be able to issue both payroll runs and dividends, you'll be able to navigate to the pay yourself page in order to set this up. So to start taking a salary, this is done via your payroll runs. Now, we've already got an existing one here, but I'm just gonna delete that quickly and we can show you how we set this up. So if we go to follow the new recurring payroll run button, we just need to select the date that we want to take our salary. Now your Crunch account manager will be in touch when you join up with Crunch to advise you on the best setup possible for your salary. And that will then be fed in to the records that determine the figures within your Crunch account. So you can see the system has allocated me an amount here and I can choose to tick pay here as well. Now, if I tick pay, the system will mark that this has been transferred out of the account. And if I don't tick pay, I will need to manually mark that payment later on. And we can also set up an email reminder here as well. So once we're happy, we can save the payroll run and you can see here that this will result in an automatic filing going to HMRC 
on the set date that we've chosen. Now this ensures that you're keeping up to date with all of your payroll requirements. So that's your payroll runs. The other form of income will be in the form of your dividends. Now to issue a dividend, you need to have available profit in the company. The really important part of this is to ensure that your account is up to date. So when you enter in a date at which you wish to take a dividend, the Crunch software will do a calculation for you to tell you how much is available. Now, if your account is not up to date, this calculation is not going to be correct and you may end up taking either too much or too little income and that's obviously going to cause you problems down the line. So do be sure before you take any dividends that everything is up to date and all of your records are logged in the Crunch software. So I'm going to choose to take an amount here and you can see it's now going to this director. Now, if you have more than one shareholder in the company, then please bear in mind that your dividends will need to be split out between those shareholders. In this example, though, we've just got one shareholder, so they will get the whole amount of the dividend. Now, if you tick the button to create the withdrawal, this will also allow you to show when that money for the dividend was paid out. So if you pay out the money right away, you can record the withdrawal. If you don't pay out the money right away, when you save your dividend, that money will also become added to the money that's then owed back to you later on. So we can save this and it's also created the withdrawal, which we can see here. Now, if you haven't manually created the withdrawal, you could do so nice and easily by following the add director withdrawal button. So we've had a quick look at recording our sales via invoices, recording our expenses, and looking at the two different ways we can pay ourselves using both salary and dividends. Now we do have more in-depth guides on all of the sections here in your Crunch account. So if you are looking to know more about any of these sections, please do be sure to check these out or get in touch with your account manager. Thank you very much.